Hey friends, thanks for joining me. This morning we're heading out to Buzzards Bay out of Falmouth uh, to do some striped bass fishing and sea bass fishing. I'll be fishing with my dad and uh, look at him. He's happy. It's the first time out in our boat in this area in a long time. I just took the action casting out an island over some rocks. Okay. Cut some off. You're good at that. Where were you? Out this way? We'll make another drift. So my dad had missed the striper. The uh, line was outside of the, uh, like against the bale, so when he went to set the hook, what? it opened the bale and the line just peeled off. No. I'm almost wondering if we should be throwing on a pe pencil popper then. Yeah, it's a little, it's a striper. It's a schoolie. It's a pretty schoolie. Sorry, I missed the initial strike. The camera was not on. Hold on, little man. Hold on. Choked this thing, look. And I was reeling it in fast. Yeah, yours is bigger though. Oh, look, sea lice. See the sea lice? Yeah. They're pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't call it big. He's off! All right. Put her with some sea bass. And oh, we got a video, Dad. <laughs> of course, I was hoping for a few more strike bass. I was reeling it fast. But we also were had the weird mis mixed current, so I don't know how fast it was going. Do you see how deep he ate that? Yeah. That wasn't a big fish. Yeah, I was, and he actually looked fine. I wasn't in the gills or anything. No blood. Well, we tried to keep fishing. Uh, we tried, we cast him. Cast him. 12 minute boat ride, Dad. We cast him. So what are we gonna do the rest of the Spare Until this happened. Oh yeah? What was that? Oh, did you? What? You hit the boat, not the motor, right? You hit the motor? And you put a scratch in it? No, you didn't. How'd you do that? You put a scratch in the board. Where is the scratch? Oh no. I'll buff it out. We like to buff it out tomorrow. Go we'll get some buffing compound. I have a, what do I have at home? I have the angle grinder. Can we use that as a buffer? Just had a yeah, you did. Keep, go, keep going, throw it back out. Yeah, but they're in here. Well, they weren't there. So I decided to head over to the sea bass grounds. Fortunately, the very first drop, my dad hooks up, but I didn't have the camera on yet. Back. I don't have the net, so I can, I can lip them for you. Wow. Ah, it's a monster sea bass. Look at that thing. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Dad, that is gorgeous! Oh, all right, can you pick him up? I want to get a good shot with you. Oh, Dad, look at that! 
Oh, dude, that's like a five pound sea bass. Don't you think? Yeah. Probably pretty close. I don't know if I want to stick my mouth my finger in there. He's got a huge mouth. Wow, this is draw solid. Wow. Dad, can we bottom you fish or what? This is, Kaylee, this is your unicorn fish. Look at that. Good spot. Good driving. Man. Glad you, glad I, <laughs> glad you picked the spot? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> glad you listened to me. You on? Yeah, you are. That doesn't look like a sea bass. You got a blue? Well, maybe it is a sea bass. Yeah, another big one. You're on fire today. That one might be bigger. <laughs> You're done. Uh, I think we're allowed five. I gotta look. It's five, five and fifteen inches in the state of Massachusetts. Ah, fish on! No, it came off. Ah. I stink. It's been happening to me the whole trip. That's just one of many. Ha ha ha, that's so crummy. Oh, look at that, it's an eider. Mm, didn't come out on the video. Oh, swim, flew right by. I but I, have, uh, I love eiders. I, I do a lot of sea duck hunting, or duck hunting, and some sea, sea duck, duck yeah. hunting. Wow! Well, I guess they, I guess they live around here in the one seventies. Now. now there are over nine hundred breeding pairs in Rhode Island, in Massachusetts. And now uh, here's a picture of uh, me sea duck hunting with my dog. She retrieved all those ducks. It was a good day. It's to the, we're almost right to where we mark the other one right over where we mark the other one dead no where we now that we're catching fish no, is right where no is right where we where you caught your big one of your big ones I'm okay to leave if that's what it sounds like then. Huh? I'm okay to leave if that's what it sounds like. Oh, I can't believe This might be a fluke. Might be a small fluke. Uh, not small sea bass. Oh wow. That's a female. Did you know uh Sea bass are the only fish species that change sex. Huh? Yeah. They're adronomous. In its lifetime, a sea bass will be both male and female. So, yep. they're hermaphrodites. <clears throat> or hermaphrodite? I don't know. Protogenous don't hermaphrodites. They start as a Hermaphrodite? female right? and grow up and change into male. And some studies show that they might even revert back.
depending on population densities. <laughs> what was that? What was I saying? Yeah, they're actually pretty tasty. They just they were just a little small this week, so we didn't keep any. Eat those big ones, huh? Ripping their mouths? Whoa. Unfortunately, just as we get to see this fish. Yeah, it is. My on the jig. Look, all my gold. Go back to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen again. Uh, to the cook portion of this catch and cook. Right here, we're seasoning them. That's important to note. Really light salt. Actually, I think I'm just using a uh, an herb, uh, a garlic herb, and low sodium seasoning on the um I mean, capers and capers have a lot of salt in them so we want to limit that there's some garlic going in some lemon juice. we're adding some capers wonderful ingredient i'm going to put the chicken and poach it directly in the sauce put it the lid Cook it till it's fully through and flaking. We serve it over some pasta. Makes a delicious meal. Poaching the fish in the sauce gives a lobster-like texture. It's quite delicious. You can also do it by pan frying it uh, with some butter or olive oil, the same seasonings, and pour the sauce over the fish and the pasta. Well, thanks for joining everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, next episode is going to be a little bit more sea bass fishing. Um, but I'm also going to show you how we found this spot today, and we'll go back to it the next day and do really well. God bless and tight lines. <laughs>